Good morning, Pisces. Welcome to this general reading. Okay, it is a sun moon rising reading. All right, it's not specific moon or sun or anything like that. It's just a general reading concerning the sign of Pisces. Please take the bits that resonate, leave the rest, as the energies are very fluidic. And by that I mean some of these energies, depending on your situation, will emanate from you and some will emanate, come towards you, sorry. Here we go. What's going on for the sign of Pisces? What's going on for the sign of Pisces? Wow, chariot. Dealing with someone very close to your heart, but uh, their situation is there's probably distance between you two. Okay, somebody here is trying to control the situation. It's paced forward, how deeply you get involved, etc. But with this chariot here, I'm getting that there is travel involved for some of you. So you're dealing with a distance relationship. All right, and some of you feel this is a soulmate. In a lot of ways, you're on the in the physical world. You're very, very different. You're like complete opposites. But spiritually, this is I'm getting for some of you a soulmate, which can be pretty confusing. Okay, now soulmate to me is a spiritual reflection of one's own spirit. All right, the practical sense where they look don't look like you, and all the physical things they have different temperament to you. There's what you're doing is overcoming all these obstacles. In other words, in a nutshell, you're coming into the energy of acceptance, okay? What's crossing you is the justice card. Now, some of you may feel <coughs> that this person is not being fair to you. And you're trying to get some kind of reciprocity off this situation <coughs> for... A, some of you, there's a marriage involved or some kind of legality, okay? As I said, for some of you, this is distance. And being restricted by the legalities of the thing. You know, I live in the UK. And if I want to go to Europe, I'm now bound because England, le well, the UK, left Europe, okay? We had a Brexit, so we're bound by the 90-day rule now. I can visit people in Europe, but I can't stay over three months unless I have a special permit. Hence, you know, this justice card, that's just an example. So what I'm getting here is you, for a lot of you, you want to leave a situation, but some kind of legal issue or there's some unfairness around you is kind of obstructing you. I mean, how do you feel about this person? How do you actually feel about this? And wow, there's a lot of wishful thinking here. Yeah, you do feel you want to be in balance with this person. Mm -hmm. But as I say, you you would love to travel and spend some time with this person. I'm kind of getting this as a soulmate for some of you. You feel this is the right one. They make you feel complete. They make you feel happy. Okay. So, you know, you want to be with them a lot. What's happened in the past? An ending, a parting of the ways. Okay, a part in other ways. Things change between you and this person. Circumstances changed. Now, it was happy for a while, but it, I don't know, it just, it just seemed to go away. It just seemed to go away. I'm getting that they, they left you or you left them. All right, contact was lost. But what I'm getting now is a, is a re-establishment of 
have contact. How do they feel about you? Mm. They want to talk to you. They want to make their position clear to you. Okay, there's a lot of differences between you, as I said in this chariot, I'm getting complete opposites. Mm. They do feel they can build a life with you, but they've got obligations elsewhere. They've got responsibilities elsewhere, so at the moment they can't fully commit. They're asking you to understand. They want to come and tell you the truth. They want to. They want to have a very, very truthful conversation. What won't you see coming? Well, you making a decision. All right. Now, this, this can go two ways. You can either be very diplomatic and overcome the conflict between you, or you can go into this with a very stubborn energy of you're going to drop it because of too much conflict, because of, you know, nothing's change changes. There's a change in attitude here. This is a decision, kind of, it's, it's a bit fearful because it's a big step. Okay, now, maybe you want to talk to this person first. I'm getting a lot of Libra energy around you and a lot of Cancer energy. Okay, you may be dealing with one of those star signs, you may be not. Doesn't matter if you're not, the energy is still there. I'm kind of getting you're waiting on a decision. And it's dragging its heels. And I'm kind of getting that you are getting fairly frustrated about this. You want to move when you're dealing with legalities. Excuse me. Now dealing with a person. Okay, there's... There's still a lot of mental conflict between you two, second guessing each other, you know, on whether to press on with this or whether to dump it. What I would say here is trust your intuition. Ooh. In fact, I'm getting three major energies around you. Scorpio's in in the mix as well. Phew. What is your intentions? Well, at the very least to remain friends, to kick things off despite the regrets. Despite the regrets. You're kind of ready to go. You really feel this person is the one. There's a lot of passion there on your side. You know, you, you want to go. It's like, go, 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 let's just do it, you know. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's their intentions? Well, to explain some of their emotions. <clears throat> they want to explain their situation. Like I say. They want to express their feelings to you. There is a, an emotional kind of plea here. But, you know, it's, there's complications. There's complications here. This person feels that if they tell you how exactly how they feel, okay, it will scare you. So they're maybe being a little bit passive aggressive at the moment. I mean, where is this leading to? Ooh, new love. New love. You making a choice. Okay. With this, what I would say is be very careful about being overzealous. Okay. Because it looks like you're going to get your wish with this person, but it's not going to be on kind of getting on the level that you want. 
So it, it's like the universe is asking you to be aware of the changes taking place and aware that this uh, can go either way. Some of the complications could be that uh, this person is married and has a child. Mm -hmm. What's the most likely outcome? Oh, a connection there. But it, it's, it's kind of going to be a fairly... It's kind of a connection you'll like because you'll challenge each other. It's, it's The energy's there, but it's not of smooth running. So you've got a fairly important decision to make here. I am seeing you and this person connecting, but it'll be kind of a very, you'll challenge each other in a lot of ways, which in a way can be good. Can be good. There's, what I'm getting here is there's no more living in the pie in the sky energy. You know, there's no more living in kind of rose tinted glasses. This is seeing the thing in reality. You know, if you're married, they're married, whatever the situation, there's a rather, it's, it's a rather competitive connection. So there's other people involved as well, energetically. Thanks very much for watching.